Oh, this has got my interest here. I see the patina on it. Wow. Paragon. 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 Is it good? Paragon can be very expensive. That's one of the better named brands. My name's Thomas and I'm an online reseller. Every week I search all over for some real bargains. I find all sorts of cool stuff. So follow me on my journey and hit that subscribe button. Welcome back to part two of the military storage unit. In our previous video, we found all sorts of World War II, Vietnam, collectibles, memorabilia, and even antiques. Today is no exception. To recap, we spent $1,220 for the storage unit, and so far, we are at over $1,600 back in return value. So without further ado, let's jump right in and see just how much more we can get. Hope you enjoy. 1908 postcard? Yeah. I bet those were Murph money. Oh yeah, they are. So, oh, that's so old. March 26, 1908. It's got a stamp on it too. Oh yeah. Antique postcard. That's real old, nice. Look at these things. How many are there? A lot. A whole bunch of them right here. I wonder how much that's worth. I don't know. What do you think, John? I have no idea. You think it's worth 20 bucks? I would say. <laughs> Look at that. Idea. That's cool. Oh wow. I could see somebody paying like 25, 30 bucks for a card like that. The date on this? April. 1908 as well. Awesome. Wow. Oh, there's more? Yeah. That's what oh. <laughs> I'm kind of getting chilled a little bit, not gonna lie. These are letters. Letters? Yeah. You know, you have to go through this where the fine things yeah. come in a spot where it won't get hurt if you want. Yeah. And I have to use gloves. What are these? This sounds like a trinket there. Oh, it's redwood. Look at that, redwood. Linux. What is Linux set? Oh, wow, it's pretty. That's a nice set. Probably 20 30 bucks right there. Ooh, we got more cool stuff. I don't even know what this is. Telehite? No clue. It's old though. Look at all these little collectibles. It's a wood carved llamas. That's cool. Oh, more of these stone figurines. We got a cool box right here. Wood carved. This is rock or stone, maybe, actually. It's a rose. Wow. Oh, this has got my interest here. I see the patina on it. Oh, that looks old. That's old. That's old. Oh, yeah. Wow. Crazy patina on it. I think it's old. But it's still really cool. This is the other one, there's two of them. Check that out. There's matching candle holders. The brass. Oh. The two brass elk. Oh, those are awesome. More crystal. Probably more crystal as well. Yeah, look at that. Now, this stuff sells easy. It sells real easy. More crystal. You got something cool? 
Whoa, an old Kodak. Yeah, wow. It's original box. Original box too. I bet that's money. Nice. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. This stuff looks old. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, one year warranty? <laughs> there might be in here, Ooh, so. crystals. This guy's got taste. I see antique porcelain. That's why I want you to get it. Look at that. Paragon. 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 Is it good? Paragon can be very expensive. That's one of the better name brands. Is it? Yes. Oh, it's a signed one. See the signature right there? Hey, you want to see John? See the signature inside of the oh, glass? Yeah. Paragon is expensive uh, for teacups. Not all of them are expensive, but... This, right here. Okay, so right now, amazing, awesome. Ooh, that's the plate. That's the Paragon plate. That's the money one. Check this out. Queen Anne? Queen Anne could be good. Oh, what is this? Ready flame? Lighter? This is this looks this looks expensive. What's that? An old lighter. See. Check that out. It's got its own box too. Ready oh, flame. Cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Look at this lighter, John. Look how uh, cool that, that thing is. is. Old. Yeah, it's got its own box. I think that's the old ones where they actually keep all the wick and everything full down in. Yeah. That's crazy. Nice. This is camera equipment. Look at this. This is probably very expensive. Yeah. Let's get the bag with it. This oh. is a sign for John. Oh, okay, God. you ready? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> this is vintage. Vintage Disney toys. We got vintage Disney toys. Oh, cool. I bet this guy's worth some money right here. I've never seen him that old. I uh, know, can't tell the brand. It's probably somewhere else on her. Just know it's money though. Got all the toys and stuff. Now these, these are probably definitely worth keeping. You get something cool? stuff. This is copper. All this has hand carved designs on it. Look at this. This is old too. Wow. How much is there? Look at all these bowls. Number two on it. Wow. Should we put that other shelf on first you think? Look at that. All oh, this whole thing's filled with copper. Wow. Nice. I'm gonna set this right here for right now, Thomas. Okay. Okay. Right here. Right here. Oh, this is wood carved. I can already tell. Oh, look at these guys. Those are cool. Are these dogs? No, they're people. More wood carved people. Look at them. Nice. Now we are back from the storage unit, but before we get into the profits, I want to show you some pictures. These pictures look like they were taken at either the house of the owner 
or some other place but I just want to know where they put these oil paintings. These pictures are of antique oil paintings that if signed by the right person could be worth big money. And I wish they had that in the storage unit but it is what it is. So let's get into these profits. Now one of my favorite finds of this week is this R. Johnson teacup and saucer set by Paragon. You gotta be careful with it. That's gonna bring me $300. Nice. Now we have this set of um, Theodore Haviland. I'm going to give a price for the entire set, not just what's shown here. We've got eight plates, we've got some teacups, but there's a lot more of this set. So that'll probably be 200, 300 when I sell all the pieces of this set. There's teacups, there's all kinds of things. Now let's get over. We've got some wooden toucans. Uh, these three toucans will bring me 20. We have a stained glass shell, probably bring 10. We have 50 bucks in sterling weighted pepper, salt, and pepper shakers. We have a 15, 15, 15, and 15 dollar teacup and saucer set. These two being 30 bucks a piece. And this is part of that same set from right here. Now, this is another piece that I was really excited to find. We have an antique sterling silver coaster with a floral art nueva design always love to see that stuff and we have about 40 bucks of silver plated under it we have a 20 to 30 dollar paper mache puppet i could be lowballing that price could be a lot more than that a 10 to 15 dollar cute duck shoehorn we have these brass mugs, and I have more of these somewhere in all of a lot of things, but all of the brass mugs together will be about 20 bucks. We have another 20 in plates right there, a $15 check crystal. I believe it could be a shot glass or, no, it's definitely a bud vase. That's definitely a bud vase. Now we get to this one. This one's a mystery card here. I've seen it sold in three separate places. Uh, twice on eBay and one off of eBay. The one off of eBay sold for $195. I do not believe that price is accurate. I believe I could sell it for 20 to 30, but wouldn't that be nice if that was really worth that much? Got a Wedgwood covered dish for 20, a $20 board game, a 20 to $30 mug, a 20 to $30 Italian marble or onyx carved ashtray a $15 travel watch and then we get over to these world war ii military patches and train cufflinks now these patches aren't worth as much as some others that could possibly be in this storage unit but we have about 10 bucks in the patches and probably 10 to 15 in the cufflinks but hopefully it's a sign of things to come. Now we have a wooden pineapple bowl. Now there's a few more of these. I think there's about three of them. All three of them together should bring me about 20 bucks. And then we have a $40 prayer rug. Now we're back with the second and final lot of this video. But before we get into it, I want to tell you about some other pieces that I have. One is a battleship that I already sold for $100. It's modeled after a World War II ship, probably made in the 70s or 80s, over 30 inches long. I'll put it up on the screen. The thing was amazing. Sold that for 100 bucks. Now we have three side tables. They're early 1900s. I got a leather top, mahogany wood, some really nice pieces. I think I can get 250 to 300 for the three. Probably going to sell them as a set of two and a set of one. Then we have an antique wood dresser with a mirror. I might be labeling it wrong, but I think once we get it together, we can get at least two to three hundred for it. That's great. Now, let's get into what's in front of us. Right here, we have a bunch of letters. We've got some postcards. But most, if not all, of these are from the 1940s. Look right there on that card. 1942. It's a whole bunch of these postcards. We've got actual letters. The family was talking to other family members that were in the war. Then 
we got this antique photo. I don't think this is World War II. This might actually be earlier, but it's a bunch of kids. It looks like they've got muskets. If anybody knows anything about this, let me know. More, 1942. See, it's signed. You get all kinds of cool things in there. So, all this stuff right here, safe estimate, 50 bucks. There's definitely more in there, but just to be safe. Now I'm going to take my glove off, and let's get to the rest of the stuff. Back here, this is an early 1900s. I believe it's part of a rug or some sort of cloth. I need to do more research on it to make sure it's not like Native American origin, because if it was, then that'd be some really big money. So I'm going to be getting back to you guys in one of the other parts with this piece right here. But this could be some serious money. Then we have an early 1900s, maybe 1940s, um, western collared shirt. Now from what I've seen online, I see shirts like this selling for hundreds. I've seen them even sell for $250. i will put it up on the site. That one is branded. The brand probably carries a sale, but I think I could probably get $80 to 100 bucks for this. Then we've got some old 1940s uh, kids clothing that I think was handmade. I don't believe the market on that is too crazy right now. Maybe 15, 20 bucks. But a $15 vintage Navy baseball cap. Then we get over to the camera equipment. Now, if I had all the pieces to this and it was original and close to near mint condition, the whole setup would be $1,500. That being said, what I have right here, a safe value would be 100 bucks. Nice. Then we've got some wood block stamps. I believe they're Spanish in origin, based off of the designs. Um, so they would actually press these down, get ink on them, and then they would stamp designs with these wood blocks. I don't believe they're antique but they're definitely look like they're turn century i could easily get 20 bucks a piece for them then we have a 40 dollar camera 40 bucks in these hand carved wooden figurines another 40 bucks in these two wind carved wooden figurines two star wars movies i should be able to get 20 bucks a piece for these because they are sealed yep a $15 Burberry satchel bag, a $15 to $20 crock pot, vintage, and we get over these cool antique copper pots. Now when I seen these, I knew they were valuable. They were actually sold in a retail shop and they were, ask, they were asking 65, some of them have 50 bucks a piece and they're signed right there. Realistically in today's market, 40, 50 bucks a piece on them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're looking at maybe even $400 in copper pots right there if I sell them individually. If I sell them all together, it's probably be closer to three. So, that's going to wrap up today's video. We've got some really cool stuff. I'm sorry I can't show more, but I'm really working on a schedule here. I've got a lot of stuff to show and not a lot of time to show it. That about wraps up part two of today's storage unit. So far, we pulled over $4,000 worth of product out of the storage unit, and we still have so much more to go. So make sure you stay tuned for next week to see part three. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed.